and as few dollars as you can find. Now you guys have been asking for this for a little while, so here we go. Top five salvage denim jeans for under $100. Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt Wilson, this is CRD. And yeah, like I said, today we're talking about five, uh, four salvage denim jeans for under $100. This video, just fair warning, this video is, is gonna run a little bit long, I think. So I've put timestamps down in the description below so you can skip to any pair of jeans that you might be interested in. And also I've pinned that in the first comment as well. At the $100 mark, it was actually getting pretty tricky. But I think I've tracked down five pairs of jeans, or should I say five brands, because there are there's some options within the fit of those five brands. So five brands that offer very good jeans uh, for under $100. The last couple, I will say, are a bit of a stretch. Not stretch denim, definitely not. But they're a bit of a stretch, but please be patient with me, because you can understand. First up, we've got the, the unbranded brand, or unbranded. Now this is the first brand that I saw specifically trying to tailor a brand's to make selvage denim affordable, to make it accessible. It was started by Brandon Svark, and he is the, the guy who founded Naked and Famous. And I think any denim head knows, Naked and Famous, they, they look at jeans, they look at things quite differently. And with Unbranded, Brandon was, was looking at building a brand differently. They cut out the pomp, they cut out the fluff, and they just concentrated on the essentials. Great fit, great denim, great construction. And with that fluff cut, and with those essentials taken care of, Unbranded offer their basic 14.5 14 ounce jeans, for $88. For your $88, you are getting a Japanese denim coming in at 14.5 ounce, very, very wearable, and the denim is samphorized, so you don't have to worry about any shrinkage there. Fit-wise, you've actually got quite a lot of options here. You've got skinny fit, tapered fit, straight fit, tight fit, and relaxed taper. And they pay attention to all the details that the, the burgeoning denim head's gonna love. They've got a chain-stitched hem, two-tone stitching throughout, there's hidden rivets in the back pocket. Going with the whole unbranded thing, they've got unbranded buttons, they've got unbranded copper rivets, and the full grain leather patch in the back, it is, well, you guessed it, it's unbranded. Now these are, they're made in Macau in China. And this is just something for, for denim snobs to, to take note of. Made in China does not mean bad quality. That's something that I think that, that we've got to get out of our heads these days. I've seen, it, seen these jeans, I've talked to Brandon about it. The jeans are made in a fair way and they're just, they're made extremely, extremely well. Brave Star Denim. Now, I will be very honest here and say I have never actually had my hands on a pair of Brave Star Denim jeans. But I have had enough comments on this channel. I've uh, read enough reviews and I've seen some reviews from, from guys that I trust to happily put a pair of Brave Star Denims on this list. I just, I honestly, I don't know how they do it. They're made in the USA. They're made of Cole Mills denim. At least some of the models are made of Cole Mills denim. Got a full grain leather patch, veg tan leather patch, uh, woven labels, and all of this for a base price of $98. I, I yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how they do it. But they've been doing it since 2012, so it, I'm guessing it must be legit. Otherwise by now, yeah, in this small denim community, they would have been found out. Sticking with this $98 mark, you have, you, you've got some choices here. You've got a choice of, of denim, all from Cole Mills, that are ranging from 12.5, no, sorry, 12 ounce, 13.5, and then a 15 ounce denim. Uh, all selvage, all samphorized. Fit-wise with Brave Star, you've also got a few options. You've got skinny, slim tapered, regular tapered, slim straight, and regular straight, or true straight they call it. They are sewn together in a factory in downtown LA. 
and the factory is using vintage machines. So your Union Specials, your Reese's and Reese's, not Reese's pieces, Reese's, Reese sewing machines uh, and Singer sewing machines. This is something I always, I always enjoy to see on a pair of selvage denim jeans and that's a vegetable tanned leather patch. And these, uh, these leather patches, they are cut and stamped in LA and these uh, woven labels, they are also, they're made in a factory downtown in LA as well. So keeping everything quite local. Next up, we have Gustin's. Now Gustin is another brand that unfortunately I've never actually had my hands on. But again, I've heard enough people saying a lot of good things about them. I've read enough reviews online. I've talked to people who have had a pair and have worn a pair. And yeah, so again, I'm happy to put them on the list, even though I've not had, had a hands-on with them. Gustin has a pretty interesting business model. They, they crowdsource the funding for their production. So before even a single stitch is sewn, they know the exact number that they're going to produce. They, they, they know the exact size runs and they also, everything's pre-financed. It's, it's a smart model. For one thing, the brand doesn't need to overextend itself by putting all the money up front for the production. They know the exact numbers that are sold and so they know the exact numbers to produce. So there's going to be no, there's going to be no overproduction. There's going to be very little waste with this model. They can tell what's working before even a single piece of fabric is cut. It is just a very nimble way to, to operate a brand. They also, they, they cut out the middleman, which, well, it's a tricky topic to be honest, but it does mean that it saves the, the end consumer some money. The downside will be that you, you have to wait a little bit of time for your jeans because you, you've got to crowdsource them, they've got to finish the crowdsourcing process, and then the jeans have to go to production. But from what I read on the website, it's not as long as I'd imagine. It actually seems to be quite fast, a few weeks to a month. There's also, yeah, I don't really know what happens if your if your chosen jeans, if they don't make their their crowdfunding amounts, the, the the production amount before before the crowdfunding is closed, and then with delivery and returns um, returns exchanges, I I don't know how that will work. They've got quite a number of jeans on offer at the moment that are in their their funding process. The cheapest I found on offer was six to eight dollars. For that six to eight dollars, you are getting a Cold Mills denim, 13.5 ounce, samphorized with a, a red selvage ID. You've got a choice of three fits, so that's straight, slim, and skinny. For the stitching, contrast stitching throughout, looks really, really good, looks clean. There is a hand stamped leather patch. And all of the production, uh, the, the sewing together of the jeans, is done in California in the USA. Okay guys, so for my, my fourth pick, um, so I've gone with Telus and Stock. But the thing is, it's not actually selvage. But please, bear with me here. Let me, let me explain. Tracking down selvage denim under $100, that wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. And yeah, I could have gone for like the, the Gap selvage denim or the Uniqlo selvage denim. But I've actually had my hands on these jeans. And to be honest, I really, I wasn't convinced. And plus, I'd much rather support a smaller independent brand than one of the, the big massive chains. So although Telson Stock, it isn't selvage denim, but it is amazing raw denim from Cold Mills. They're made in the USA. They're offered in two amazing fits and they're from a brand that I really, I really trust. Pete and Tony, that's the, the founders of Telson. They realized that not all guys cared about their denim being woven on vintage shuttle looms. They didn't care about selvage denim. They did care about quality and they did care about where the jeans were made. The difference between Telesin, so Telesin, the, the selvage denim jeans, and Telesin stock jeans, is mainly just the fabric. The, the fabric that Telesin stock uses, it's woven on, on more modern machines. These modern machines are called projectile looms, and they are capable of weaving a much wider bolt of fabric, so a much wider piece of fabric. And they're also capable of weaving this fabric much, much faster, so therefore the denim's cheaper. And Pete and Tony, Telus and Stock, they pass this saving on to the consumer. The jeans cost $99, and for this $99, you're getting, you're getting a choice of a couple of great fits. You're getting their slim tapered, and you're getting their straight fit. The denim is a 14 ounce non selvage, as I said, 14 ounce non selvage samphorized denim from Cone Mills. There is the Telus and Signature T stitching on the back pockets. The patch, the patch I, I really love, because if you guys, if you guys have watched a few of my older videos, you're going to know I've got a 
bit of a soft spot for paper patches and this one's pretty cool. Totally solid hardware, unbranded donut buttons. And the jeans, yep, they're sewn together in San Francisco in the USA. The last jeans on my list are, well, it's actually a lot of jeans from a lot of brands. You just have to have a little bit of patience and you have to really enjoy the hunt. Because you see, there are so many amazing jeans out there that are to be found on sale for, for really good prices. And some of them, yeah, under $100. With this in mind, I've put together a list over on the website of stores with some really good sales that are going on at the moment. Now, this list is by no means comprehensive. Uh, it's a bit of a work in progress, but I think it's gonna give you a pretty good place to start. So, those are my top five picks for jeans that are under $100. I'm, I'm sorry I had to sneak in that, uh, that non-selvage option, but I just, I, again, I really think that that it's better to support a bigger brand than, than maybe like a big chain that are just like jumping on the bandwagon. I think you're going to get better jeans and you're going to be supporting the independent guys, which I'm always in favor of. It was a lot trickier than I thought, like really. So if, if there's some brand that I missed, then, then please leave a comment down below. I'd be really, really curious to know what other options are out there. And the sales, well, yeah, their sales are always changing. So I'm going to keep that uh, page up on the website. I'm going to keep updating it and just keep an eye out. Down in the description, there are links to that sales list I just mentioned, plus all of the jeans that I mentioned. And just above that description, there is that subscribe button. Guys, it would be awesome if you've enjoyed this video, if you have felt it's brought you something. It'd be awesome if you could think about hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. Next to that, there's the bell notification icon. Hit that, and then you're gonna get notified whenever I drop a new video. And yeah, as always, like one of those thumbs up, that really does help out the channel. And guys, I hope you're happy and healthy out there. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I hope you're taking care of each other. And I'm gonna see you in the next video.